back in the late 70s, early 80s, um, you know, our government realized that menopause was not just a bear for the um, for the woman that, that went through it as well as those close to her, yeah. but it was also very unhealthy. Mm. Uh, the protection of hormones that a woman has is goes unrecognized by a lot of, uh, of people, you know, even providers. A woman's risk of a heart attack before menopause is essentially nil. Wow. After menopause, when she's lose, lost her estrogen, that risk accelerates to as high as a man's. In other words, a woman's risk of a heart attack after menopause is identical to a man her age. Oh, wow. So the NIH said, we got to do something about this menopause stuff. I mean, it's not only making women feel bad, it's killing women. Mm -hmm. And so they wanted to do a study to replace the hormones that are lost at menopause, mm -hmm. which is you know, traditionally estrogen, progesterone, testosterone. But they were focusing on estrogen and progesterone. They separated, they had, a, they had three groups. All of these women were um, nurses. And one group, of course, was the placebo, didn't receive anything. Mm -hmm. Then one received what was thought to be estrogen and one was gonna be estrogen and progesterone. The problem was we did not have bioidentical human estrogen or progesterone at the time. What was it? They were using synthetic and estrogens and progesterones from horses. <laughs> Um, they used horse urine. Ew. At the time, Premarin was the number one selling drug in the world. And the word Premarin literally comes from pregnant mare urine. <laughs> yeah. So these women were given essentially synthetics and horse pee. That did not go over well. The human body does not handle synthetic or horse hormones very well. It was a disaster. Women started to have heart attacks in great numbers, strokes, different cancers, breast mm -hmm. cancer, uterine cancers. It was so bad they stopped the study because they, they couldn't in good faith continue to, right. to do it because too many women were dying from it. Goodness. And they threw up all these black box warnings that hormones were horrible. Right. That's what, they, that's yeah. what I heard. And they didn't do But they it. didn't bother to say horse hormones are horrible in humans. They just said hormones are horrible. And that's what doctors like myself, when I was going to medical school, were being taught. Mm -hmm. And nobody focused on the fact that these women were not given human hormones. They were given synthetics and horse hormones. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. So that's where you hear the negative publicity that comes from you know, a lot of papers and, and still a lot of people think to this day. But you know, today we have exactly what your body makes. Wow. Yeah. And so when we just put that back in someone, it's like putting air back in a tire. That's and we're not doing anything foreign. Now we're just putting the hormones that a woman used to have and a man now, but back in their own bodies. And, you know, they're going to be healthier from that.